Welcome back. This is the IRS Radio Hour, and I am attorney Stephen Leahy, and I am here with the group, which is uh, Deborah Schreiner and Jim Leahy. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for tuning in. Remember, if you have a question, and this is an answer on the show, call Open Tax Resolution, 312-664-6649. You're going to talk to Bonnie and mention you listen to the show. Okay, I'm going to interrupt you because I forgot to mention something about that I wanted to mention in the show. I have a newsletter out. I used to have a newsletter some time ago, and the guy, the, and we stopped it. I don't know why, but we started it. We're starting again. We got a new newsletter. It's, this April is going to be our first month out. I'd be happy to send you a newsletter. It's a physical one, not an email. It's a real newsletter. It's going to have a lot of good information about the show, about about the, my office, about uh, IRS things and other debt-related issues. So there's going to be answers in there, too. So if you want to be on my mailing list, give us a call and tell us. Give us your address. We'll put you on the mailing list, and I'll send you a copy of our newsletter. And I really wanted to put that in there because i really like you to, to have a copy every month. And that one another way that we can stay in touch, the show and the newsletter. No, that's right. Okay. And now, here's that man with a head just crammed full of knowledge, Mr. Know-it-all. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Know-it-all, the segment where attorney Stephen Leahy answers those questions that are burning deep inside you, like, uh, how good are the Cubs this year, and are you going to opening day? <laughs> what was the question, though? And what's your favorite 80s song? Oh, that's not really a fair question, in that I, w- I graduated high school in 80, uh, 1980, and so I really... I only have 70 songs I like. All the 80 songs were new songs. What's your favorite 70s song? I, that's not even a fair question either since... It's Is it one... Fleetwood Mac? <laughs> Staying Alive by the Bee Gees. <laughs> Actually, I have to say, and it's probably a 70s song, which would be um, Let It Be. It's probably my favorite really? song. Really? My, probably my favorite Out song. Out of all, all the so- Better than Rock Bottom? I love Rock Bottom. But probably my favorite song of all time is probably Let It Be. Better than... Uh, uh, Better than Highway Star? Love Highway Star. Better than Kill the King by... Love Kill the King. So you have no... Uh, let it be. Do yeah. we have a question? To... What is your question today, <laughs> Attorney Stephen Lee? Is there a question? There is a That's question. That's the first question. <laughs> no, but you... but Because I've had this question over this week, and we were talking about this, um, and now I'm trying to remember because... The installment agreements. No, that was the, that was the blog segment. What... How you can get in trouble uh-huh. from the IRS... What do you say? What should you do? This remember that's very good, Debbie. Thank you. What should you do if the IRS asks you, shows up at your house and asks you a question? Because now the IRS is starting to use criminal investigations to go after people. They didn't always do this, and there's a very small number. So, for instance, in payroll tax problems, they're starting to use the criminal justice system to go after people and not only come after you for the money that you in the trust fund recovery, but to put you in jail. Because you're stealing. They say, you're stealing from the federal government. That's our money you're spending. And if you use that money, we're going to put you in jail. And But even if it's not jail, even if it's just coming after you, knocking on your door and asking you questions. Um, oh, and I wanted to mention this, too, because you keep hearing all these things about scams, right? The scam oh, telephone yeah, remember calls. When we got we talk scam. a lot about that on the show because we get a lot of them, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. that's, and, and so we always say, no, the IRS doesn't call. Well, here's something that's going to change. The IRS has hired uh, Congress last year authorized uh, um, debt collectors to start working for the IRS. And guess what? They're going to call you. But they won't ask you to pay today. They won't. Uh, they won't ask for your Visa card. They won't ask you to pay with the uh, with, uh, with, yeah. with, with the gift cards. They won't do it that way. But they will. They they are going to start calling you. So all the stuff we talked about that they're never going to call you is probably not effective anymore because they're going to start calling you. But here's the thing: if the IRS calls you, even on the phone, but if they show up at your house or if they ask, what should you do, Jim? What, I always tell you this, and I want to. I, I would tell them. To- to revert to my attorney. Actually, exact you want great to the answer. Worst, the word I would say is, I'd love to help you, but my my attorney has advised me not that's to. That's right. And you should contact my attorney. And so, and that's exactly the right answer, Jim. And I'm glad that you, that I, at least I've had some influence on you. So even when the police ask you something, right, they, they say, hey, come on down and talk to us at the station. You say, you know, I'd love to join you there, but let me talk to my attorney first. Don't go with them. 
You know, you know, the same thing you with have the IRS rights for a reason. Exactly, and the same thing with the IRS. If they're asking you questions, don't answer them. Get an attorney. I know it's innocent. I know you don't want to be bothered. I know you're innocent, but they don't think you're innocent. And and one thing is, if you lie to any of federal uh, officer, so it doesn't have to be criminal. Just could be the people that come out and talk to you. If they think you lied to them. There's, first, it's going to be almost impossible to come up with an agreement with them because they're going to try to bury you. And second, it's called perjury. OK, so don't perjure yourself. Don't put yourself in that position where you're going to you know, shade the truth. Don't do it. Just don't answer the question. Then That's you don't right. have to shade the truth. I have an attorney. Here's his name. Let me contact him. And 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 again, if you don't if you haven't hired me yet, keep my number handy. Three, then one, you can two, call me. That's right. Six, six, four. 6649. Again, that phone number is 312 664 6649. Okay, so keep it handy. And I hope that answered your question. Thank you, Mr. Know It All. That's right. Thank you, Mr. Know It All. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, if your question isn't answered on this show, remember, Open Tax Resolution will answer it for you. Bonnie's going to pick up the phone and tell him that you heard us on the IRS Radio Hour. You listen to IRS Radio Hour and you have a question, and we will answer it. 312 664 Six six four nine or visit ChicagoTaxTeam.com. That's going to be your hub to help fight the IRS and get you on track to financial success. Now, ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned because we're going to wrap this show up IRS Radio Hour style, which means it's going to be hectic. But no, I'm choking. Listen to our sponsors and come right back here on AM 560. The, the answer. answer. 